Good evening, family. This is Miss Norma. This is our readings for Sabbath, um, June the 22nd, and it's titled, Where is Your Power? Let us pray. Abba Father, we thank you, Lord, so much for this time that we have here. We thank you, Lord, for your grace and your mercies, Lord, and truly, Father, um, I mean that, Lord. So many things happening around the world. Lots of things, Lord. Um, we look for the sunshine, Lord, but it seems of late, Lord, every which way we turn, there's always something that is going on. So, Father, ask for your continued blessing and healing in all of our lives. Strength and hope for today and tomorrow, Lord. Remember those on our prayer list, Lord, those who are, who are in chronic stages of illness and some things just coming up suddenly, Lord. Be with us, our family and friends, Lord. Help us to encourage, Lord. And Father, there, have, there are those, Lord, who have entered into the state of bereavement, Lord. Loss of family members, loss of a friend, Lord. Loss of a spouse, Lord. Loss of a child. Abba Father, I pray, Lord, that you would just be with us and grant us strength and grace, Lord, to be able, Lord, to walk a path that, Father, in times like this, we are truly, truly alone. And we look to you, Lord, the author and the finisher of our faith. In Jesus' name, thank you, Abba Father. Amen. Amen, family. Happy Sabbath, everyone. Blessing and healing to all of our land. Where is your power? Our story today was written by Sherry Tajali Sharesta. Amen. And our scripture lesson is Ecclesiastes 12 and verse 6. And it says, Remember your creator before the silver cord is loosed, or the golden bowl is broken, or the pitcher shattered at the fountain. Mm. I stood in the semi-darkness, before me lay a series of glass boxes set in a serpentine pattern that stretched, that stretched across several rooms. My eyes focused and I began to see into the boxes. I was in the Museum of Egyptian Civilization, home to an Egyptian national treasure. The mummified remains of 18 kings and four queens Included in the collection were Sequinary Taro, his head bashed in from his battle. He died fighting the Hyksos, no, the Hyksos, invaders from the north. Beautiful Queen Amose, Nefertari, and half Shepsut, the queen who withheld power from her son and ruled as a man. Thutmose III, one of the most daring military leaders in history, and Ramses II, the pharaoh of the Exodus, according to some, one of the longest living and most productive pharaohs ever. Our guide told us that Ramses II was the only pharaoh to travel abroad. A few years ago, his remains were taken to Germany for the repair of the mummy, study, and exhibition. However, before Germany would allow transport, Egypt was requested to produce a passport for his travel. Even though he had been deceased for over 3,000 years, he was met at the airport by a band and was accorded the welcome of a foreign dignity visiting Germany. As I stared in the low light at each mummy, I realized I was standing amid some of the most powerful people who ever lived on earth. But now the glass cast caskets contained only darkened, shriveled remains of the once powerful pharaohs. They lay quiet and still. Although they made incredible plans for a rich afterlife, nothing was left but their remains and millions of visitors 
staring down at them as they quietly filed past. I thought of Solomon the preacher, who concluded that all was foolish pride and vanity. He has given us good advice in Ecclesiastes. Remember, that's an Old Testament book. Remember now your creator, Ecclesiastes 12.1. Life does not consist of more than power or having all of our wants supplied. It consists of the command to fear God and to keep his commandments. For this is man's all. That's in Ecclesiastes 12 and that's verse 13. We can look forward to an afterlife far more glorious than what the pharaohs imagined. And we have the privilege of helping others reach heaven as well. Would you rather be a pharaoh or God's child? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Again, our reading for today, Where Is Your Power?, was written by Sherry Tajal Shrestha. I hope I'm saying that right. Abba Father, oh Lord, thank you for letting us know for some of us for the first time where our power really is. And Father, for those who just needed a refreshing, a dip down, Lord, into the truth of your word to let us know where true power is. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for blessing and healing, for enlightening the mind, Lord, for some of us for the very first time. Lord, there is still no God like you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Blessing and healing family to all of our land, personally and collectively. Thank you, Abba Father, in Jesus' name. Have a good night, good morning, good afternoon, family, wherever you are. And by your grace, I will see you all on tomorrow. Hallelujah. Amen. Good night, family. I love you. This is Miss Norma signing off. And have a restful night. Um, have a peaceful night, Lord. And Father, if there was chaos in the air, or just a little bit, Lord, quiet it so we can have a blessed night's rest according to your will and your tender mercies in jesus name amen and a special blessing and healing for all those that are sick among us dealing with maybe um big stuff on our plate or sometimes it's just a little bit but it's still um a healing and restoration nonetheless nonetheless Thank you, Abba Father. Good afternoon, good evening, good morning, or good night, good night, family. I hope you've had a blessed and wonderful day and weekend of rest that is before us all. Amen. Good night. I love you. And remember that the greatest love of all is that of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen.